started working in oil recently, um, again, and uh, I got this big picture I did for Smarter Art School. And uh, so, first I'm going to apologize for the, the quality of the video. Um, I used the GoPro to try and record it, uh, thinking that that would be good enough, um, and it just, it left it lacking. Um, and I didn't get the right angle, so I had some issues with the recording. But I'm going to go through the kind of step-by-step -step process that I used. And I have some extra video and stuff here and there that I can show you guys uh, what I did. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I'll try and do better on the videos next time. I'm getting some more tools coming in so I can record better. Um, and here it is. All right, so I projected this using my digital projector I showed in a prior video and I just put a JPEG on there and basically used some burnt sienna raw umber to line it up and then fill in the values with a mineral spirits and paint wash. I just started working on getting the values correctly, you know, really kind of focusing on what I needed to kind of achieve as I, as I went further on painting. And you can see that I'm really using a dark contrast here and then what i'm doing is after it dried i put a slight wash on there again a very transparent wash that gave me just kind of that greenish tone and on the actual painting some of the browns show through as well and then again i went through and used the darker tones and some highlights to just start bringing out the background a little bit more the um, background is pretty much a mix of uh, yellow ochre and uh, burnt sienna and paleo blue and I really just kind of focused on the background at first just to get a, a better idea of the value contrast that I was going to go for because I really wanted the figure to pop a little bit more and so you can see me kind of you know moving all over the place I'm, I'm really focused on the background and pushing back and forth, you know, getting a little bit more depth into the background by put, painting in stones, just using variations of the same lighter, darker tone value system. And so as I kind of worked from there, then what I did was kind of just started moving all over the place. Um, I started putting in, you know, base value color for the dress and working on the horns, uh, kind of building that up as well. So right here, basically, I'm working on most of the torso and, and the elements of the body. Uh, she's in the middle ground, so I'm trying to push her a little bit more depth. And you'll see me, I'm actually holding the reference in a couple of shots. The photo that I got was from a Patreon uh, who does uh, stock photography. And so I basically just kind of started painting over that and working basically on you know the legs the torso and kind of as much as I wanted you know most of the body um, I felt getting that in there was going to be like kind of key to see where her color palette lies and I eventually paint over it with pale white to basically lighten it up and then go over it again with some some lighter colors to uh, to kind of accent it as well and so as I you know, continue to paint. Um, now I'm kind of working on the lower area, trying to clean up some of the, like, almost detail of the skulls and things like that as well. And at about this point in time, um, and I've got most of the body done, I'm working on the, the kind of axe staff kind of thing on that, developing that a little bit more, and just kind of going through and making sure that I feel like the the curves of the form uh, work for what I'm trying to achieve. And so uh, now you can see I'm starting to kind of refine the skeletons a little bit. Um, I'm going through and adding in the bones that I see. And I'm basically kind of working on all the little pieces down there. And you can see I'm actually sitting on the ground here 
and, and kind of putting layers of transparent paint through the kind of whole whole thing. And you know, about this time, I'm I'm really kicking myself for using skulls for the entire terrain. I can see why nobody ever really does that, uh, because if you don't have all that detail, it basically makes it look um, makes it a lot faster to paint. And a lot of this was I'd mix enough of a color palette here, and I was ultimately just going through and kind of adding little small swatches of color to each skull individually. Um, and that what that allowed me to do is kind of build up my value system and my value scale to really kind of feel that one, the skulls were dirty, and two, they were really about, um, they were really about the kind of form of that skull. And so you can see I kind of go through and then paint like my individual skulls. And then what I'm doing is a lot of ultimately pushing back the skulls too. So as I paint, I'm, I'm using thin layers of mineral spirits and like a raw umber or uh, my, my color mix that I'm doing with. My palette is really limited too. Uh, I'm using, I think maybe six or seven paints. I'm using yellow ochre, I'm using uh, phthalo blue, I'm using my umbers and siennas and white and a crimson, I believe, too. Um, and that's really all I'm using. I'm, I'm using a simple palette just to ultimately kind of push things together. And then I found, you know, once you start on, you know, getting the skulls looking right, um, it wasn't as bad as I initially thought I was going to do. I thought I was just going to pull my hair out because of these. But as you can see, I'm just slowly, you know, kind of building them up and kind of pushing the elements back and, and forward, um, trying to get a little bit more of those, those skulls to kind of fit within the uh, uh, form and stuff. And then what I'm working on too is uh, I'm working on ultimately pushing back the skulls. So the further back they are, the darker they are. And I'm again, just layering the washes. And at this point, on the whole skull palette thing, um, I'm not even using like thick paint. I'm using just uh, lots of little washes to just kind of build that up. And I, I think that worked really well for that, that kind of process. Um, it gave me uh, a lot to work with. And then on my original concept, uh, what I did was I had kind of almost layers of skulls. So I'll have like different sections as well. And so when I felt like I was, I had enough detail into the skull uh, as well, I basically went and, and was able to push that back. And here you can see uh, I'm looking at the piece as a whole and then kind of going through and darkening some of the, uh, you know, adding in some other tones because I felt it was just too green, too Castle Grayskull, uh, which they're coming soon. Um, so, you know, I felt it was too, too Castle Grayskull, so I added some, you know, browns in there and the wall behind it. And I also worked on other elements as well. Um, and then for a second, you can see I had, I actually bought like a Halloween decoration uh, that I was kind of using as, as a base light source to kind of figure out where the bones go and what the light source is. And so as I work on it, you can definitely see that it's, you know, just basically time. The the concept wasn't hard. I just picked a lot of a lot of detail items, and kind of worked from there. And ultimately, you know, as I started working and developing this a little bit more, um, you know, I got a better sense of depth. I got a better sense of like what was going on with the piece. And so ultimately, that was that was a a, a big issue as well. So I spent very little time actually on the character uh, comparative to the rest of the piece, the, mainly the skulls and, and the uh, skeletons. And ultimately, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, though I do realize I probably won't go and work as big as I did. I think this is uh, four feet wide by three feet across or three feet down. And so here's where I, I lighten the skin and kind of 
paint that as well. And basically, I'm getting close to done here. So I'm just adding in little touching details and, and going back and forth. And throughout this whole video, I'm thinking to myself, I'm glad I'm not bald. Thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, feel free to visit my other social media sites. Uh, check out my Instagram. I'm pretty active on there. And uh, check out my Patreon. Thanks much, guys. Have a good day.